We are continuing our conversations now with RDOS winners. I have the pleasure of having Pauline O'Conn here. Congratulations, winner tonight for the Thank Regional you. Theater West production of Zoot Suit. Zoot Suit. And now, this is your first nomination, your first win. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> to be honored by your peers, by fellow casting directors. What does that mean to you? How are you feeling tonight? Overwhelmed. I'm just completely overwhelmed and honored. Um, sorry, a little bit of a cold. Um, the turnout that my casting peers brought to this show was amazing. I, I was getting messages from everybody who had come to see this play, and it kept getting extended and extended and extended. It was awesome. You're being recognized tonight for your work in theater, but you started your career overseeing network television. So how did that actually start? How did you get your start in casting? Um, in the right place, the right time. Uh, there was a new president and vice president coming into the network who was looking for a good assistant. Somebody mentioned my name and boom, it just clicked. It was just, it was meant to be. And I was there for a very long time. Whether you're overseeing network casting or auditioning actors for theater, does your process change? Does the process change for the actor in the room based on the form? Um, I not really. It doesn't. It doesn't change. I think with theater, you tend to give a little more opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, you tend to give a little more direction because you know what your director is going to be looking for. I think with with film and television, it's they have to come in and they have to own it. They have to come in and be that character because if they're not that character, my director or my writer is not going to see it. So. Over the course of your career, we've seen the landscape in Hollywood change a little bit. Technology's crept in. We've got more streaming platforms, the internet. Uh, how has all that changed what you do? How has that changed the casting process or has it? Uh, it's made me lazy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, in in the beginning, we used to write out our own lists, and they were all everybody's name was in our head. And we used to have to remember everything they were in, every role they played. Now there's IMDb. Now there's Google somebody's name, and you find all of their credits. It's it's made it a little less troublesome. Does that provide more opportunities for actors? You think? No, it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. If you do good work, we're going to see it, and we'll recognize it. Excellent. So now as a award-winning casting director, oh gosh. <laughs> for all of the associates and assistants out there looking to build their own career, uh, or as someone looking to get into casting, do you have advice for cast young casting directors? Don't give up. Just, I mean, that's really the only advice is don't give up. Just if you love it, if you love actors, and those of us of my age grew up, you know, in the golden age of television watching things like Bonanza and Bewitched, you just keep watching television, going to movies. Don't give up. It'll happen. Like Mr. Valdez said to me, si se puede, and si se puede. That's great advice. Thank you yeah. so much. Congratulations Thank again. You. I'm going to let you get back to the party. Thank you. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you.